Hey everyone and welcome to the walkthrough of Lady Africa. If you don't know, Lady Africa is up for sale. So a little bit of information about the hull in that. It's a Dean Catamaran 365, 36.5 feet, um, 1991 model. Everything on the interior has been completely replaced. So we're not meaning that we just kind of put some instruments in and some plumbing. I mean completely rebuilt. The galley is built out of NIDA core. Some of the coring has been replaced in this boat with NIDA core. The floors have been replaced. All the structures have been rebuilt in here. So everything's brand new on the internals, plumbing, electrical, pretty much everything you see is brand new. So we're gonna give you guys a quick tour of the boat, show you everything about the boat, how it works, a couple of storage compartments where we store things, and just overall how the boat looks. So if you're interested in buying it, you can drop us an email in the saloon right now. And we're going to start up with one of the forward cabins. It's a four cabin layout uh, with one head and an open saloon, galley, I'd call it freezer side, washing machine, head, all in one area. So when everyone, if anyone's cooking over there, washing the dishes or having a meal, ordering the laundry, you're always in the same area. And that's been really nice for me and Simone so far. Also, when seated in the saloon area, you've got 360 degree view right around the entire boat. So you can permanently look around you, which is really nice because you can be relaxing over here and you kind of got the whole view of the bay, what's happening around you. And it's really nice. It's probably one of the pieces we've enjoyed a lot. And during those times when it's raining outside and the sails are set, you can always come and sit inside here and just browse around, open your avionics up and you you got a fuel full view of everything so it works really well for us but let's start with that cabin i'd say this boat pretty much has like a twin master cabin setup um, the two forward cabins are identical to one another it's literally what you're seeing here is on the other side so it's a nice double size uh, mattress at the moment we're using it for a little bit of storage and fishing rods um, but normally this bed would be made up when we have guests coming in and they use this cabin. A lot of storage underneath here. We are probably only use the top three for my personal stuff. And then the rest of the stuff I have like a whole bunch of things. There's some spare D2 clutches. They're brand new, they come with the boat. A spare Raymarine autopilot component. So a full, I think there's a, except for the pump, there's a full autopilot for the boat ready to be installed. Um, some fishing equipment, life jackets, a nice big uh, hanging cupboard, which as you can see, I don't hang anything. Asymmetric in there, the brand new asymmetric that comes with the boat is in there. It's a beautiful blue, long lasting, they reinforced all the edges of, of the sail. It's particularly for this boat, for how she loads and she depowers. Um, so very, very nice little asymmetric and brand, brand spanking new. We haven't flown her yet. We're hoping to fly it on the way to the Bahamas. There's a whole bunch, there's a few shelves here, like four shelves. I just keep the beach toys there. Um, got a nice little courtesy light here if you want. Got another courtesy light down the bottom. This one's quite convenient at night. We usually leave it on at night. And then you got your two reading lights on both sides. That can be red and white, both of them. So it really works out well. It's, it's a good setup. And yeah, that's it, this cabin. And coming down, uh, we've got nice dry bulges. So I also got a bit of space. I actually usually keep my fishing rods in there and spear guns. But since we've been fishing quite a bit lately, keep it out. But good storage because we've got dry, dry bulges. As you can see, those bulges are bone dry. I'm not a person that likes wet bulges. So I try and keep them as dry as possible at all times. into the galley and we got a lot of storage this is three shelves in here you can see fully stocked for the Bahamas whoever buys the boat as soon as you buy it she'll be yours so you get a whole bunch of food that we left behind <laughs> and um, some more storage space there and that's throughout the entire galley area this is a brand new cooktop uh, we put in 2020 so 2020, 2019, um, cooked up, top and oven, gas. It's worked really well for us. It's been fantastic, nice and easy. In the galley, we've got obviously the sink where all the dishes are done. We've got a salt water supply, 
fresh water supply and a second filtrations and remineralizer tap. So drinking water, cooking water always take out of here, just remineralizes the water a little bit and gives us another filtration out of our tank, even though our tanks are pretty clean. Drawer system over here, some more storage, three shelves, um, so a lot of storage in the galley. Full size 110 liter fridge, which has been really efficient and great, running on 220 volts. So the boat is 12 volts and 220. It's been great with the high efficiency inverter that we installed. The boat's permanently hooked up to 220 volts. So we've got the luxury of having ice makers, microwaves, kettle, all running on 220. And with the lithium setup and the solar, Per, we run perfectly fine. Overnight we use about 25% of our battery banks um, keeping everything running. We don't shut much off. We leave our fans running the whole night so using 25% is not much and then throughout the day we typically charge at about 70% of our total capacity is roughly what we can produce every single day. So if you work out how much is being used through the day plus the charge 70% is what we can do every day um, yeah, and it's been good for us. We never need to run a generator or engines or anything to charge. Um, we've had up to a week on anchor with inclement weather and we've still been fine. The next week it just kind of recovers, goes up to 100%, balances all the cells perfectly fine. With that said, I'll say that we've got custom lithium phosphate batteries, A-grade cells, um, with premium BMS and CAN bus integration and if for most of you if that's Spanish all it means is that we can monitor each individual cell in, within the battery full data reports linked up to the internet send it to us anywhere in the world as long as we've got an internet connection on the boat and we can see what the boat's doing whether there's a draw current that shouldn't be there or anything like that so yeah that's a little bit about the batteries over here we've got some more storage underneath the step I store a lot of my tools that, are, that I need like kind of to grab in an instant I store it all over there makes it real easy and convenient to get things out um, some more storage over here water pump located in the bottom access to view the water tank inspection um, really convenient so everything's right at the disposal uh, water maker right over here a beautiful little OAC 30 she keeps us supplied with water uh, drawing 15 amps and um, she's been fantastic all the time here we just got a lot of miscellaneous parts some extras these are two extra BMS for the batteries um, we even got spares for the batteries we got literally spares for every single device on the boat we got space for the water maker space for the batteries Space for the engines, tons of space, space for deck rigging, extra lines, um, Dyneema and polyester. Um, yeah, so a lot, a lot of spares. Uh, in the aft cabin, got a nice little courtesy ride and a USB charging port. All the rooms are fitted with dual USB charging ports. One deck hatch and one port light to keep it nice and ventilated. And also a good view of what's happening outside if you're sleeping in the aft cabin. If we're doing a lot of sailing, sometimes I enjoy these aft cabins. You get a good night's rest in them during sailing, but up when you're at anchor, the forward cabins are amazing. And to give an idea, I'm 1.7 meters, and if I lie down, that's that, there's still a full size bag, and we had we've had someone that's about two meters tall in here, and they're all the way in the back. You could technically fit two two youngsters in here but um, to be comfortable one adult and you're good some more storage over here and a transfer valve to transfer water from this tank to the starboard side um, another reason why I say this is a get up and go this is not a project boat if you're looking for a project boat that you want to do a lot of little fixie jobs this might not be the one for you this boat is in sail ready condition and when I mean that I mean like e perbs are up to date life jackets are up to date um, the, all the life jackets are fitted with PLB, personal locating beacons, uh, which will come to the AIS. So it's really well set up, safety-wise, um, ready to go sailing. So if that's what you're looking for, 
this might be the boat for you. A little bit more information about how the boat runs is on the port side it's got a water pump that supplies the entire port side of the boat with fresh water. On the starboard side is another pump that supplies the starboard side of the hulls with water. And then we have a salt water pump that supplies the aft deck wash and supplies the marine toilet with fresh uh, with salt water. We also have a fresh water deck wash. So we have fresh and salt water deck washes in the in the in the back swim deck. Over here a nice big saloon table. We've set up six six people um, eating on it, but it's super comfortable for four people and then the other two sitting on the edge. This table can also be dropped down and converted into a day bed if you want to. We don't really use it like that, but you just remove it from, from the posts, take the posts up, lay the posts down, and then they sit on this lip that's here, and the bed drops down into a day bed. This is pretty much what controls everything power-wise. Behind here is all the instrumentation, which is on the outside. This is the back end of it. Um, AC power supply for washing machine, cabin, outlets, refrigerator, freezer, main supplies. And these are all uh, Blue Sea circuit breakers. It's also a Blue Sea panel, all 12 volts, a complete 12 volt system. And then our color control, which pretty much monitors solar, DC, discharge, charge, um, AC loads, and generator or shore plug in and sta inverter state. So you pretty much get all of your power um, information from here. And that's obviously one of the most vital things on a boat, is understanding exactly what your power is doing. Over here we have high voltage, uh, which is our inverter over here. Nice compact inverter, Victron. Victron MultiPlus, a couple of spare cables in the bottom. And our Lynx power in. And then running over to our two DC to DC chargers from the engines. Uh, which are oversized, but they run great like that. They never get hot and we're always charging a little bit through engines when we when we're under motor But I don't strain the alternators at all And then over here we have a VHF radio uh, This is a Raymarine 70 integrated AIS. We also have a separate AIS So if that had to fail, this is a backup system with the handheld outside. We have a fully uh, secondary VHF system, it's not only just the handheld extension, it's a full radio, but I'll show you about that. So the AIS is transceiver, it's a transceiver, so which transmits and receives pretty much. Um, and yeah, it's been really good, and we get really good range with it. Another, this is a 120 liter freezer, um, 220 volts, it keeps everything frozen, rock solid. If the power goes out, we're good for about 12 to 24 hours and everything stays frozen in there. Very well insulated, works really well. Um, and super easy if anything goes wrong, it's straightforward. We've got a spare compressor for this too. And we've got actually full space to rebuild this thing completely. Um, that we also got with the, with the freezer. Washing machine, really, really nice and convenient. That's probably one of the nicest things on the boat, or nicer things on the boat, is having a washing machine. It means you always got nice fresh laundry, and you're not having to try and find places on shore to go and get laundry done, no matter how remote you are. Um, our water heater is a gas water heater. This has been probably the best investment ever. Never need to run, we could be months at anchor, we never need to run an engine to heat up water. Never need to do anything. We've got eight months worth of gas on the boat, so it's so cheap and so effective to, to run this and works really, really well. So hot showers every single day for both of us and we love it as the water gets chilly at night or you go for a late afternoon dive, come back on the dinghy, the wind howling 20 knots, you get chilled to the bone, hop in, have a beautiful warm fresh water shower. It's magic. Over here we've got a valve connection system, it's the gas supply, the water supply for the washing machine, pretty much just a little compartment with valves. This is the other aft cabin, um, a lot of storage, 
full set of spares for the engine everything's really close to kind of where it works diesel tanks sit in here you can inspect them from here if you want to i think they vinyl s the tanks so you can actually see through you can see if there's any bugs or anything growing in the fuel um sorry our house pet our house bank sits over here three high performance lithium uh batteries and the solar chargers are in there they work great let me show you guys some beautiful engines i could lift it up on it i don't take the mattress off if i'm doing um just oil checks but because i want to show you guys and take the hatch off completely ready Ta -da! brand new vitus engines uh, dual diesel filtration systems on each engine the other side's exact mirror copy of this um, 500 hours on the engine they are brand new literally these things have just been run in so that's what you're also getting with this boat is reliability that you have brand new engines brand new props brand new sail drives um, if you're talking sensor diesel engines 500 hours is nothing so Immaculate condition and we keep, I keep the engine bays looking like this at all times So got a nice light in there that makes it easy to see everything at night all power tools included um, And everything's Bosch So there's everything from a router to a sander to a jigsaw to a Dremel tool heat gun heat shrinks for the for the people that do the cleaning, whoever's doing the cleaning, battery operated vacuum. Bosch vacuum cleaner. So full Bosch set of battery tools and power tools. Uh, another access, same as that side, to the water tank inspection. A lot more storage on this side. On all the sides, yeah, more storage. We've got a whole bunch of nonsense over here at the moment. Nice full size shower, full length shower. I, I think if you're two meters, you'd probably still be standing in here, no problem. And close the curtain. And with the curtain, keep your head dry. You're not sitting on a wet toilet. We just put these in, so not to clutter the floor. So we've got two dispensers, a shampoo and body wash, and then the loofah. But you guys can arrange it however you want. Got the, got the basin access to the water pump and plumbing and then the smart toilet so you can do a normal eco water in and empty just by the press of the button it does everything and then the last master cabin which is identical to the one on that side is where we sleep in so it's got a bit of clothes in the hatches and then more camera bags, Simone's ukulele, storage. We're kind of just storing stuff now. Packed up a little bit for when we leave. And uh, both courtesy lights. Also storage in the back here. So behind both of these, we've got storage where you, where you can store a whole bunch more stuff. We use it for linen storage. But there's storage behind those too. Uh, the boats. The boat's also fitted with a nice bow stereo system, outside and inside, marine uh, stereo. Which keeps you nice and entertained while you're out at sea sailing or cruising or fishing or whatever that is. Got a beautiful helm wheel with hydraulic oil, uh, pump. Full Raymarine suite, brand new 5G radar. All Raymarine equipment. There's nothing on instrumentation that's not Raymarine. Uh, AIS, transceiver, chart plotter, integrated Caribbean charts, um, and South America, and I believe America too. Uh, wind speed depth, autopilot, external complete VHF. You can browse through and search channels and everything. It's not just a handheld um, microphone. Um, over here we got the light switches to control all the lights in the cockpit, swim deck lights at night. So 
while you're having a brine and barbecue, that's a fantastic feature to have. And while you're swimming at night, it's also amazing to have that. Access to the hydraulic um, hydraulic steering pump, nice and convenient in the right place, so you can kind of have a look at it if you need to. Inspect it before passage. Two engines. We'll fire them up quickly. On position, glow on, and start. Currently 484 hours, um, we are going to put a few more as we cruise around the Bahamas but that's pretty much where they're both sitting on, they've both got the exact same hours. Uh, that one's got 484 hours. And that's from cold start on both engines, eh? none of them had been warmed up before. Eh? But yeah, when you get on the boat you can come and test it yourself. So I call this the dive locker. It's pretty much filled with dive gear. There's dive tanks in the back, dive gear, there's BCDs. There's also a portable, brand new portable generator. We haven't used it much. I think if you if you could put this on a clock, you'd maybe find an hour on it. Um, that's about it. But it's great if someone wants to add different things or if you want to run like the ice maker and water maker every single day endlessly and you might need a bit more power, you've got it on hand. It's, um, we haven't used it much, but it's great. It's there, it's brand new. We have another deck hatch here for this entire area that's here. We typically stall, store some diesel fuel, so if we're going to remote places, we fill all the canisters up to diesel with diesel, and we can take about three, six, nine, nine twenty-five liter canisters in here. We use it for Atlantic crossing, we store diesel in there. And that was great for that. It is a dry locker, but we don't use it often. And um, so we store some fuel in it. Out on the swim deck, you've got your nice little fresh water wash down that tucks away completely. So you don't have to have the thing in sight. And that closes up nicely. Here's a saltwater plug-in for deck wash, mostly for when we catch fish and we're busy just using a lot of water, copious amounts of water. We'll use the salt water and finish off with the fresh. Good sized barbecue, we've, we've entertained a lot of people and fed a lot of people too. Amazing for when you get that nice size snapper, pop it on there, works fantastic. One of the best investments ever is a good sized barbecue. As I said, got the light up there independent gps2 to the built-in gps got a external uh, gps2 um, cap size canister with flares and water and all of that stuff you get that little sucker too she's amazing uh, it's a 2.9 meter 3d tender ultralight aluminium hyperlon with a 15 horsepower enduro yamaha you can't beat that setup for two, three people, that thing is amazing. Like, it could take a family of four onto plane, no problem. Um, it's been amazing for us and allowed us to get to all the far dive areas. We go dive right on the other islands and we can run with her all the way there. Four of these uh, gas cylinders stored up front. One feeds the, the boat and uh, this one's just dedicated to the barbecue. The rig is built out of Dunima rigging, covered in chafe sleeve. Uh, it's 10 mm oversized for this side of, size of boat. But since it's a cruising boat, we figured a little bit more size won't hurt. So each one of these stays are rated at 11 tons. So theoretically, we could pick up the entire boat on one of these stays. But um, so really solid, it's going to be long lasting. And yeah, that's all I can say about the rig. And the two four stays are not Dunima, they are brand new stainless steel cable and that's because of the furlers on them since the wind has been blowing the audio hasn't been great so i'll just voice over these sections for you guys so it's bearable how we keep the boat powered up is with three of these panels in total we produce a thousand watts um, new hawk and winches also installed on the boat and and then we've got the antel brazilian winches so we've got new hawk and winches over here over there and one and down that's hawk and winches that we installed and then the other two winches to control the sheets. Uh, mainsail, uh, self-tacking jib track, 
for the inner jib which is kind of convenient sometimes and then we've got the big Genoa sail downwind she's a big girl uh, for going upwind we furl her in a little bit she works a lot better like that um, and a new anchor windlass with a beautiful oversized mantis anchor So over here we got the life raft, we don't typically keep it here when we're sailing, we put it out in the cockpit, um, three extra gas tanks and lots of lines and that, everything stuffed over this way. So these front compartments actually come all the way to the back here, yeah? so it's that entire area on both sides, it's huge lockers. Got some more storage in here, uh, just anchor chains, spare anchor, fenders. And like I said, same as that side, storage through this entire area. Probably about two cubic meters of storage around roughly. And if you want a reason to buy the boat, there's the reason. You can come and anchor this boat literally right on the beach if you want to. And have an amazing time. Compared to other cats, you get all of this deck space included. Check at this. You can lounge, you can have 10 people on here, I think we've had 15 people on here having a great time, enjoying the bow seats, enjoying the deck for tanning, non-slip, nobody falls over anywhere, have an amazing time. And for those of you wondering, if we've got such a great boat, why are we sailing? Moving back to land life, we've got a new adventure going on there, and that's what we're moving on, and hopefully we're passing this to someone that can really enjoy it, and they can keep it in as good a shape as what we kept it, and pass it on to the next people. We learnt a lot. We saw a lot of places, we really enjoyed it. Um, if you had to ask me who do I typically think the boat is meant for, I think it's meant for someone that wants to thoroughly do the Bahamas. Everyone keeps on talking about how shallow you need to get in the Bahamas and everyone gets stuck. Well, you got two and a half, me two and a half feet of draft on this and you can beach it, solid kills. It's not built with cord material below the hull, below the waterline. Um, so it's solid glass, really strong. Um, so that's who I see it's typically built for. But we've crossed the Atlantic with it. If you want to take it to Europe and go enjoy small marinas, that's also fantastic for you. Um, so all depends what you want to do with it. But that's just my opinion.